Hello. It feels like like that. I don't know. Today it's time for another uh, video in uh, my Linda and Marlins collab. Uh, we didn't put one up uh, last week because this time it was Linda. Linda. It's so hard to say Swedish names in the middle of English, but yeah. Uh, she didn't feel well and you know when it is like that you have to postpone it's nothing important so it's better to be okay and feel better uh, but I think everything is going as planned uh, today it's God, I'm so bright I have a very light foundation on today I had to bronze up like crap this is the best it's going to get I think I don't know, I'm very shiny, I'm very white, and I put the light closer, maybe that was stupid, never mind. But it's Wednesday today, right? Yeah, it's the 1st of January, now we will have trouble all for two months more. <sighs> but yeah, and I have been good and pre-filmed a bit, that never happens, but when I feel like it, I do it, and yeah. And today I'm filming the video for Sunday and if nothing happens it will go up on Sunday um, and today it's time for I'm just looking in the mirror because yeah I'm not that white that's it look I just moved the light closer maybe I shouldn't have done that but today it's time for the brand OPV beauty and the palette that we all had in common we had another palette in common as well but we decided on the spotlight palette it's the one that is supposed to look like um, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette I have not compared them I will do that uh, but yeah and today it's another palette it's the last palette bingo with order rules in this series and yeah this is a very pretty palette I have not used it uh, there are one, two, three, four, five. There are six mattes, one satin, and or two maybe, but one that looks like a matte. But I swatched it, and it's a satin. And six, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, and eleven shimmers. So this could go whatever. <laughs> and I'm going like this: one to six. Uh, 7 to 12, 13 to 18. So let's start with the shade for the crease. I don't want 15, I can tell you, because that is a black. Two, <laughs> I got the satin one, but that's okay. Uh, that's the brown there, it's a satin one. Let's see if it works well as a matte. I think it does because they usually do and they are not that intense like normal mattes but maybe this is not fun to have a brown but it's better than other things I could have gotten so don't complain I'm trying not to look down so much but yeah it's all should I move the light back I'll do it later. Like that. This shade is called All That Spark. How can you name a brown satin shade All That Sparkle? That is so wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I have not worked today because it is a holiday <laughs> um, and the place I work at now the, the bank um, before I used to work at, at the um, what's it called an, ap an apartment no a department <laughs> that was open like 24-7 um, so I usually worked holidays because you get more paid <laughs> uh, you get more money um, but now I work at a branch and we don't have open, so I work tomorrow. 
and then I will start again in a new year and I like to start over I like you know I had a good start of last year at work um, and I really like to you know start over and do it again and you know reset the numbers and everything but at the same time it's a bit annoying because the things you did last year is bygones you know let's keep it like that it's not my favorite oh god it tickles i'm sorry uh the shade to have in the outer v 10 uh, 6 7 8 9 10 I think I got the lightest shade. <laughs> Six, sju, åtta, nio. Yeah. Limelight. The blue turquoise. Well, <laughs> I will have to put it on with this. It's the lightest shade in the palette. Awesome. I hope I get a good random shade then. Let's see how this picks up. going to be a weird look yeah it's a good shimmer anyway I don't like when there is a print in the eyeshadow and you destroy it when you use the shade um, I usually go around it but you can't do it here you can do it a little bit but I don't care about this type of print but in the Jeffree Star palette, I usually don't touch the print in some of the shadows anyway. Okay. I think I'm going to take a bit of the brown. Yeah, that's what's called limelight. I'm going to take all that sparkle. Such a ridiculous name take that on top of the shimmer here a bit so they blend these shades go well together blue and brown um, but yeah it's not my first choice please don't get a dark on the lid <laughs> 11 <laughs> no <laughs> damn it <laughs> I got the shade next to it, number 11, called Sparkle. It's that shade. Oh, this is gonna look so weird. Yeah, I'm just going to try to take this without any setting spray first. Because I don't feel the need to make it intense, I don't think. At least the shades go with each other. Have to be positive. But it usually looks really weird if you have a dark in the inner part of the lid here and have a light here without having a dark. It's a different if you do a halo eye, but when you do it like this, it can easily look really weird with the dimensions of the eye. I hope you know what I mean. You make the eyes go further apart and I don't need that. And like I said, I'm not spraying this because I don't want it to be so intense. Now I'm taking the other shade, Limelight, on top here. That shade I really like. Okay. Like that. Now let's take the shade that is going under the eye. 13. Ugh. There are so many fun shades. I must swatch this by the way. This is number 12. I didn't get that, but ooh. That looks pretty. You can't see it because the light is so close. But I got 13 and that's a brown shimmer exhibit it looks lighter for you than it is i can tell you i don't think i'm going to 
braided because it doesn't look like these shimmers are very fall out in. Maybe I should spray it just to get a little more paint because it doesn't show up that much. Come on. I usually get brown shimmers down here. So good. Now, please don't give me 15 for the inner corner. It's worse to have the black in the inner corner than to have it in the crease. So, without a doubt. It will be interesting to see if Marlin is lucky with this. <laughs> because she has only been lucky like one time. I'm sorry, I'm not very interesting today. My mind is everywhere. I hate the brown. <laughs> yeah, I will fix it a bit better. But let's take the inner corner. No! <laughs> no! How ridiculous is it? Look! I got 15. Oh my god. Did you hear me say that, you stupid iPad? No. <laughs> No, of all the shades. I wouldn't be happy if I got, you know, the brown or these, but the black matte. No. No. Why? I bet the iPad listened. You stupid iPad. I'm going to take the black very lightly. Please give me another shade, but all the shades are dark now, but... So I can take it over. The last time I did this, I looked like I had bruises. It looks even more ridiculous to you than it does to me because I'm so white. Oh my god. So freaking ridiculous. Now I'm going to try to save it here. I'm trying to save it. <laughs> yeah, really. <sighs> I'm taking the shades that I got on the lower lash line and on the lid. And the last shade is 11. I've already had that, right? Let's see what I need to do. Yeah. Five. Okay. What should I do with you? I got public uh, exposure. What's that stupid black call? Now I got public eye. That shade is a matte. I don't think it will save the inner corner, so I'm taking it in the outer V actually. On top of this shimmer. Because this look is already beyond being able to look good. Look, it looks so ridiculous to you. It doesn't look like that when I look in the mirror. <laughs> look. Look how it looks. Oh, weird. I will have to fix that. That is the thing with black. And now it stings my eye. <sighs> yeah, because you're not supposed to put black in the inner corner. What is it? Okay, I have to fix this. But yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be back. <laughs> now I'm back. And the only way to save this look was to make it super dark. So I took a black 
pen in the waterline and made a really thick and uneven winged eyeliner I can see now. I would have to sit like this so it's even. <laughs> uh, and it turned out okay but the inner corners is... I'm feeling very grungy. <laughs> And maybe I can get away with this in a club or something, but I'm never there, so yeah. <laughs> I thought of recording another video after this, but <laughs> no, I don't want to do it with this look. And it almost looks muddy, dirt, dirty, I can't say that, but that's only because, you know, it's dark shades and I took the brown on top of the light turquoise shade so yeah it looks okay and I blended out the black really much in the inner corner it's like you, you can still see it looks more terrible like I said in the camera because it's not that in your face here not at all I can hardly see it maybe a little bit there but yeah uh, but I think the eyeliner saved it a lot. Uh, but my eyes are very irritated. So I think I got a little too much black in the eye. And I only have the Fenty gloss in... What is it called? Confetti? I was like, did I put this on the lid? No. On the lips? It's this confetti. The small pinky blue lip gloss thing. Yeah, well, good for you Molly, I was not lucky this time, uh, this is not a pretty look, it's a okay look, but I would rather prefer, 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 prefer not to wear it, actually. Yeah, uh, and it feels like there is so much potential in this palette, and I, I did not get it, I didn't get the warm fussy shades or the purple or the red or mm -hmm. I'm not bitter no god how uneven eyeliner but yeah never mind <laughs> I'm gonna take this off um yeah this was all for this video um go check out Molly and Linda as usual they are linked down below their videos uh, I both hope and not hope that they are lucky. Um, it's so insane that I got the black in the inner corner. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's all for me. Bye. Oh.